A typical guitar has six strings. The E string, the B string, the G, D, A, and E string. These strings are named after the note that string produces when it is played open. Open means without pushing down on any frets. You may have noticed there are two strings both named E. Both of these strings do produce an E pitch, but they are two octaves apart. It's not important to know what an octave is in order to read guitar tab, but you should know these two E strings produce different frequencies. In other words, they do not produce the exact same sound. In order to communicate with other guitar players, we refer to the higher pitch skinny E string as the high E string. And likewise, it is common to call the thick, low-pitched E string the low E string. Now, let's get into some actual tablature. The simplest guitar tablature is just six lines with numbers written on those lines. Most of the tabs I've seen have labeled those lines. Each line represents a guitar string with the high E string as the first string at the top and the low E string, sometimes called the sixth string, at the bottom. To play this tab here, you start at the left and read to the right. This entire melody is played on the B string, which is the second skinniest string. The numbers tell you which fret you will push the string down onto. The zeros that you see mean you will play the B string open, without pushing down on any frets. Now, watch as this melody is played a few times. Okay, I hope that was easy for you to understand. Let's move on to hammer-ons and pull-offs. You see here I have modified the original tablature to include an H and a P. Whenever you see an H, it means you will hammer on to the next note. What that means is you will not pluck or strum or strike the string with your picking hand, but instead you will use your fretting hand to produce the note. To do this, you will pluck the first note and then, using a different finger on your fretting hand, you will literally hammer on to the next note. In this example, we will pluck the second fret of the B string and hammer on to the third fret like so. A pull-off is the opposite of a hammer-on. Just like the hammer-on, whenever you see a pull-off, you will not pluck or strum the next note. Instead, you will use your fretting hand to sound that note. To do this, you will need to push down on two different frets at the same time and then lift up the finger you are using to fret the first note. In this example, we will have to push down on the second and third fret at the same time and then lift up the finger holding down the third fret. This will cause the string to produce the note at the second fret. In the example shown, there is a hammer-on followed by a pull-off. This is common with hammer-ons and pull-offs. To play this series of three notes, you will only need to pluck the B string once. Let's see it in action. Slides. A slide is usually represented by a forward slash or a backslash. Forward slashes are used when the note you are sliding to is higher up in pitch than the note you start with. Likewise, a backslash is used when the note you are sliding to is lower in pitch. The way a slide works is you pick the first note before the slide symbol, and while still applying pressure to the fretboard, you move your fretting finger to the next note. In the example shown, we will slide up to the third fret from the second fret and then we will slide right back down to the second fret. So, just like when we hammered on and pulled off on our last example, we will hear three notes when we only pick the first note. Here's how this tab will sound. Bends and releases. 
A bend is where you literally bend a string to produce a higher pitch. In this example, we will bend the B string after picking the second fret. We will bend the string until it sounds like the third fret. This can be difficult for a beginner because you need a certain amount of finger strength to be able to pull this off and you need to be able to recognize when the correct note has been reached. Hopefully you don't run into any of these for a while. The opposite of a bend is a release. In the example shown, we will bend the second fret until it sounds like the third fret, and then we will release the bend so that the note at the second fret can be heard once more. Check it out. Let's move on to string muting now. Whenever you see an X when reading guitar tab, you will mute whatever string that X is on. To do this, you lightly touch the string while you strum. It doesn't matter where along the string you mute it, so long as you create a nice dull sound. String muting is about rhythm rather than melody. Take a look at this tab here. Whenever you see two or more numbers on top of each other, it means you will have to play more than one string at a time. Here is how this tab should sound. So there you have the basics of guitar tablature. It becomes a lot easier to read after you learn a few songs. There are some variations to the symbols I've shown you, but these are the ones that I see the most. I have a few tablature videos geared toward beginners. You might want to check them out.